Okay, so we are putting our cake in for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, we are going to make the icing. All right, Carter. Welcome to the Christ guest. The baby. All right. Um. So the icing. It's important to follow the directions on the icing. You can't just dump everything in there and just go at it. Okay. Icing is very fragile. Okay. So we need the unsalted butter. Now unsalted butter is a little different. It does not. If you use regular butter, it comes out um, a little too buttery and the icing is not as sweet. All right. So you want to use unsalted butter. Um, and then you need powdered sugar. Not powdered sugar, Carter. Powdered sugar. Then vanilla extract and heavy whipping cream. Let me show you what this looks like. You can find this in the dairy section at the store. Powdered sugar. Okay. So first, to make frosting, place butter in a medium mixing bowl and beat for seven minutes. Mixer ready. All right, butter. How much butter? We need a half cup of butter. So my butter happens to be labeled. This says a fourth a cup. So how many of these, Carter, will we need to get a half a cup? If there's all one fourth, then if there's four of them, it's one cup. If there's two of them, that means half a cup. There we go. All right, so. This is half a cup. Two one fourths equals half a cup. All right. So we're gonna. You know, and it's important to like not let it sit out for a while. So it's not as hard. I should have said that at the beginning. Okay. If you don't have the apron, you can just use the old shirt. Charlie doesn't like to wear the apron. And we need um, powdered milk. So we put the powdered sugar in a cup at a time. So one cup, 0. 0.5. Okay. So of powdered sugar. So if it's 0. 0.5, how, how many cups is that? That would be one cup and one teaspoon? No, if it's 0. 0.5, what is 0. 0.5? Oh, a that's half? A half, a half a cup. Okay. So it says. All right, in medium mixing bowl, beat for seven minutes. Beat the, the butter for seven minutes. So you wanna make the butter nice and fluffy. All right, place butter in medium mixing bowl and beat for seven minutes. And then you add the powdered sugar a half cup at a time. So beat, 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 beat. We're gonna beat for seven minutes. We will return. Okay, I want to show you what it looks like after you have beat it for seven minutes here. Okay, so see how it's like nice and fluffy here? Okay, that's the consistency you want. Now we are going to pour in the powdered sugar half a cup at, time, at a time. And we need one and a half cups. Have a hard time pouring it in there. <laughs> okay. So I kind of shake it a little bit. Okay. Let me see. 
All right, so we're gonna pour in a and a half of a cup. Okay. Anytime I'm working with powdered sugar and flour, it is messy. Okay. So, hold on a second. Just I got the spoon here, so I can kind of get it off the sides a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put one more half a cup. Again, don't start that until I put it straight in. Alright. Can you kind of put it down here on the table a little bit? Make sure it's a half a cup. Alright, I'll put that on low, low speed. Okay, now we're going to add the heavy cream. This is heavy cream. One tablespoon. A tablespoon is bigger than a teaspoon. Let's see if we can find a tablespoon. So a tablespoon says TBS. Remember, measurements, it is important. All right, so I pour in that. Okay, add heavy beet for one minute. And we're going to put the vanilla. So I'm not going to, I'm going to pause it, okay? You're going to beat for one, about a minute. Now we're going to put the vanilla in. One, one no, one, yet yeah, one teaspoon. Let's use the small one. Mother's Day, okay? One thing that's important is, one, do not destroy her kitchen. Do you understand me? Clean up after yourself. So, the best way to do is to kind of clean up as you go. But it's not, so it's not as a big of a mess when you favorite color is. You want to make it a different color besides white? Yep. 
All right, so we happen to have, we actually have a lot of sprinkles and a lot of like food coloring already because I make cakes a lot. She makes them for every birthday that's in her family, almost. So let's see what we already have here. We have a blue, we have a red, we don't need white. Um, we have brown and we have a yellow. You know, we could probably use that red to make pink. Yeah. Okay. Add some white to it, maybe. See that white in there? Red and white. Okay, let's see. If we just add. Okay, put, oh, the, com put the computer down so they can see that. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little drop of food coloring. And I'm going to kind of mix that in here. Here's how it's kind of turning out red. If you want pink, then get pink color white coloring and maybe add a little drop to that it'll make it look pink more pink a darker pink maybe if you want or you can do purple if you have purple red and blue you want to do that make we got blue here yeah let's do that let's put a lot of blue here and see what that does science people Sometimes it's fun to experiment a little bit. And with food coloring, it doesn't, if you change it different colors, it doesn't matter, it doesn't change how it tastes. It's not like you put that in, it's blueberry. No, it's just, it doesn't even have taste if you taste it. So then, it's fine if you mix it in colors, experiment. Experiment, people, experiment. Okay, look at that. All right, so you can play around with your food coloring, make it a pretty color. You know how in stores have those little, how they make the suckers birthday cake where just pink and purple? Mm-hmm. Mix, kind of looks like what it is. All right, so there you have it. You have your icing. Now, we're going to wait until our cake is out of the oven and cooled off, and we will do part three.